To some, it's just another instrument. To others, it's an inanimate object that's placed in a cold corner of the house or hung on a wall simply to collect dust. Still yet others see it as a mysterious beast that cannot be tamed. They expend their energy for weeks, sometimes months, only to forgo under the weight of the mastery in which it requires. Although they forgo, they cannot forget, for the burning forearms and bleeding fingertips are but cruel reminders that some things in life require an investment of time. But if one takes the time, the mysteries of the muse are relinquished in subtle waves of inspiration. Like strands of light that trickle through the tops of trees on a dense forest floor, the clarity of the texture unveils itself for the persistent pupil, as the grains of time bend their earthy wills to them that find its worth, there comes an infusion of life and of death, where the once living now dies, acquiescent for the sake of being placed in able hands, hands that will harvest from the harvested and reaping from fields of creativity where songs are sung that no man has ever heard. Yes, to some, it is just another instrument. But to those of us who have fallen for it as it once fell for us, it's an extension of who we are. It's our outlet, our therapy, our very roots. And it grows on those severed from the soil, in hands that dust has made whose curse was in the toil. It truly is the instrument of my desire. It fuels my soul to fan the flames within the fire. When clay and wood mesh with steel to the will that would so choose it, the guitar then gladly yields itself to the musician and his music. Emotions then can take flight upon embellished wings as the vibrations of the past and present are flowing from its strings.